All right, so we're over here at the field and we're um, we're playing with the uh, drone setup that Nathan has. This is a mini Talon. The flight time for this bird is about an hour flight time. There's planes with the setup that can last longer than that with lithium ion batteries. This one has uh, cameras mounted in the front. The video is transmitted from the uh, antenna setup and that's being sent out to this setup here which is a computer monitor rigged up with video receivers. We're using a 5.8 on this one? 1.3. Oh, 1.3. Okay, so he's using 1.3 gigahertz on the video transmission. Um, and he's, he's using a long range um, remote setup as well. So as far as the setup on this plane, what features does it have that make it autonomous? Um, so it has automatic launch. It also has auto landing if you want to do that. And uh, the other big feature is return to launch. So if you go out of range, it'll automatic automatically come back and and orbit. Okay. Um, right now it's set for 150, or actually this one's set for 400 feet. Okay. So um, the height of 400 feet and yeah. it'll circle around us? It'll come back and, and just circle, yeah, until you uh, tell it to do something else. Okay. So this is run by lithium polymer batteries. Um, this is the, the flight controller here. So it does have a gyro built in. So um, does it have the stabilizer as well? Uh, yeah, so it has a bunch of different modes. There's like a cruise mode, which is basically altitude and heading hold. And then there's a fully manual mode. There's a loiter mode. If you want to go out there and you spot something interesting and you, you want to loiter. Mm -hmm. that, um, you, while you're loitering, you can point the pan and tilt camera at it and look down. So oh, that, well, so it does. If you could turn around the camera completely, right? It's like a 360 yeah. degree camera. Yeah. Um, so. And then it also has the return to launch mode and... Uh, let's see what else do I have an auto mode so you can program in a mission mission um, on basically using Google Earth you can make a bunch of waypoints oh. and have it either map or um, whatever you want it to do okay uh, that's options. awesome that's a great feature so you could actually yeah. go to the Google map make some pinpoints on there and then look at or survey the the area depending on what you uh, input into uh, Google Maps so that's pretty cool yeah it's very capable um, and this is this is a smaller, lighter fixed wing aircraft. Um, there's bigger ones uh, that can that can get up to the really big ones can can do about five and a half hours. Um, there's also a, a popular one that um, is a, it's called a quad plane. So it's basically a quadcopter. There's basically booms right here and four props so that it can take off vertically and land vertically oh, okay. and then turn it turn into an airplane so that's ca um, called the VTOL yeah so it has the advantage of taking off and, and landing vertically but at the efficiency of a, of an air of a fixed-wing aircraft nice so something like maybe a forest 